Hi, Renee Burroughs here. I am here to show you how to contribute to somebody's WordPress blog. The first thing you do is go to their website, click slash WP dash admin, and that will bring you to the login screen. And to log in, you put your username and your password. Click login. And this is what your dashboard will look like. You want to go to posts, add new, and then you will get the posting screen. Now, if you're going to post and what you see is what you get, visual, you want to be on the visual tab. If you're going to post um, HTML or a video from YouTube, you want to click on the HTML tab. I am going to be posting something visual that she requested. And all I have to do is simply copy and paste the article paste it title it Now I'm going to leave the categories, tags, and metadata, metadata down here. I'm going to leave all that blank because I'm going to leave it up to Michelle to edit that. But I'm going to try to scour out some of my keywords because I uh, make my posts a little heavy in the keyword department to make it a little more general for her Wellington area. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do at the end is put originally posted at, and I'm going to include the link because that's going to give me a backlink back to my post, and it's going to revive my post a little bit too in the search engines. There we go. So I have my title, my cleaned up post, and originally posted at, paste it on the bottom, leave all these blank, and I'm going to save it as draft. And click submit for review. Now if you're new to um, WordPress and you just started contributing, you want to fill out your profile which will be in your dashboard. Click on your profile and fill out all the information that you want available to the readers. Of course make sure you include the backlink to your website and all your social media that you want included. And I'll show you what it looks like when you're done with that. Here's an article that Jane Peters submitted. So this is what her profile looks like at the bottom of her article. Now where does she get the picture? 
She gets it from the Gravatar. Um, so you just go to gravatar.com and you create a, um, an account. You'll want to add a profile and you will want to add your email addresses. This will be helpful with you also when you want to um, comment on somebody's WordPress blog. Your photo and your link to your website will already be there because you have a Gravatar. And so, let's see. You want to manage your Gravatars when you're done after you upload a photo and you set simply just set your photo to your email address, pick it, it will confirm and it will show up. And another reason why you want to do that is because Michelle and I, we have contributors and this is how your information will show up again is through the Gravatar. So make sure you set up your profile, make sure you set up your Gravatar and have fun posting.